You guys are tuning in to another story time on how I became a photographer and why I became a photographer, so stay tuned. All right, let's dive right into this bad boy. All you guys who don't know who I am, my name is Xavier. Anyway, back in high school, I used to make a lot of gaming videos. I used to do YouTube videos as well too. I just didn't have the top of the line equipment. But still, I still work with like Kodak cameras. I have this little small Kodak camera, and I had the small Samsung camera back then that I used to record like skits and stuff on back in the days. Let's get it. And then uh, one year I actually took a photography class, but I didn't take a photography class to become a photographer actually. I took that photography class because the year before, I remember seeing a couple of my homies in the photography class and it was an easy class. They got to go to both lunches and they got an easy grade. So I'm over here thinking that, oh yeah, this is about to be a breeze. This gonna think thing, this gonna be a breeze. <laughs> Luckily, no, unfortunately for me, the year I decided to take that photography class, right, we got a new teacher, her name was Miss Lexa, and she was the most strict teacher ever. Not what I expected. I don't think it was gonna be a breeze, bro. She took that class so seriously and made me not like it. But anyways, we had a lot of photo projects in there and that we had to do, so that was cool. That's, I guess, you could say I first started doing photography then. And I did graphic design. I thought I was gonna be a graphic designer. I wanted to go to the school it's called Academy of Art University. Academy of Art University is an urban campus and we span this glorious city of San Francisco. I don't know why, but I just wanted to go there when I was a sophomore. I was like, yeah, this is the school I'm gonna go to. But anyways, I used to do graphic design. So I went to Academy of Art, majored in graphic design and advertising, which was cool. I lived in the dorms in, in San Francisco, right in the city next to Union Square and stuff and there was in the dorms there were, there was about six floors and every floor had a different artist so it's tight I got a lot of experience with different arts just because everybody I lived with did something different uh, one day right went to the cafeteria by myself you know when you go to the cafeteria you don't know nobody but you got to sit somewhere to eat so you feeling kind of nervous or whatever you don't know where you're gonna sit you don't know anybody so there's this dude next to the door I was like hey bro can I sit next to you like, yeah, bro. I'm like, all right, bet. There's this white dude. His name was Justin. And then there was this other dude at the table. He was Asian. His name was Kevin. We called him Asian Kevin because we knew another Kevin called. I mean, he was from Chicago, but he was white. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all you know, know how y'all get down, man. Y'all know what y'all be doing. But I met this dude, chopping it up with Justin, right? So, I told Justin, I do like graphic design and stuff. He told me he does photography. I'm like, oh, that's dope. And he was like, yeah, bro, I do a little bit of graphic design too. You should check out this on my Instagram. So he showed me this one picture. Yeah, a picture of an eyeball, right? Zoomed in, then he photoshopped the eyeball to where there was something inside the eyeball. I was like, hey, bro, that's dope. That's dope, bro. Anyways, later on, me and Justin ended up being friends. Me and Kevin ended up being friends. Justin would come by my dorm with this chick, right? She was also another homegirl. Her name was Nicole. She's dope. She's a dope photographer. But anyways, they would meet up in around like 9 p.m., right? They would go out and go take pictures. Like they would sneak into places, go onto rooftops, climb up cranes, uh, go into like under bridges and tunnels. It was dope. They would come back and show me the type of photos they got after they did their little outings and stuff. I'm like, man, that's tight so i already had plans of getting a camera right my boy asian kevin he had this camera called uh, it was a canon t5i a rebel and he were, he suggested that i got that one got the whole kit because i was planning on getting a new camera anyway because i was planning on upgrading my my uh equipment so i could you know what i mean continue this youtube stuff but i once i saw this photography stuff too i was like yo when I, I told justin when i get my camera bro i'm about to get on this photography shit honestly for real for real so my camera comes so you know i was a man of my word me and kevin this is my boy for this. We was going out shooting every day. We was just practicing, learning how to use my camera, learning all the settings on my camera every day. It was tight. So then I started going out and shooting with Justin and Nicole and all his friends as well too. We would go and like get some dope landscape photos, go to beaches, go to on a rooftop, go climb, climb it, like sneak into a construction site and climb on a crane and do all this crazy stuff just for the photo. It was tight though. Like photography started like getting me out of my comfort zone and getting me to start doing things I normally wouldn't do. Like that's some white boy stuff. Like I look back now, I would not do a lot of that stuff. But honestly, like it was so worth it. The pictures that I got, you can't get those pictures if I if I did not do those things, you know? And it also teaches you how to not take the little things for granted. Like everything, like these trees over here, you know what I'm saying? The grass, the sunlight right now, it teaches you how to like just pay attention to everything and how to see the beauty in everything. So that's dope. So that's 
Yeah, that's, that's the reason why I started doing photography and it inspired me to keep going. And then uh, next semester, I ended up meeting my boy. Oh yeah, follow Justin, by the way, uh, jday3 on Instagram. He has dope work for sure. And follow Nicole as well too, because she inspired me as well too. Follow her work, I forgot what hers is. But if you're in the Bay, yeah, yeah. Honestly, that's, that's how I became a photographer. I got inspired by other photographers. So if you want to be a photographer, man, hang around other photographers. Hope you guys like this bad boy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any more ideas of any type of stories you want me to tell, I got a lot of entertaining stories. Just drop a comment. I'll be forgetting sometimes, you know what I mean? Um, and tune in to the next story.